It's quite sad, I think, that if you are the right skin colour, then you can pretty much get away with saying anything racist towards Caucasians. I am, of course, talking about uh, racist actress Adjoa Ando. I mean, you just have to look at the uh, recent spate of Caucasian celebrities who've had their careers destroyed for statements which were deliberately misconstrued by the hysterical woke mob such as Gina Carano, she was sacked from Disney, David Starkey, that's another one, and the list goes on. Now, I know this is my third video on this issue, but there is a lot more to say, and uh, I just need to highlight the hypocrisy. It needs to be put out there. Now, this racist actress, Adjoa Ando, she was invited onto Radio 4 here in the UK, and a show hosted by Paddy O'Connell, And she was asked, what did she mean by terribly white balcony? And she replied with, well, I didn't mean to upset anyone. And that's it. Now, I told you guys in my previous video regarding this, that even though Ofcom are investigating, they won't do anything. And ITV, the programme which hosted the uh, coronation commentary which she appeared on, they haven't put a statement out. And we all know why that is. It's because she holds a very, very privileged status in our society. So anyway, when she tells Paddy O'Connell that she didn't mean to upset anyone, he replies by saying, oh, don't worry about it, you didn't upset anyone. Well, here's the thing, Paddy, she did upset people. She upset people like me. People like me who are fed up with being demonised simply because of our race colour. Now, the term racist is defined in the dictionary as quite simply judging others on their skin colour. And this is exactly what Adjoa Ando did. And Paddy O'Connell knows quite well, had he been interviewing a Caucasian celebrity in front of him on his radio show, who had done exactly the same thing about a black family, then he wouldn't be so gentle and accommodating. And yes, I've listened to Paddy O'Connell and he is quite the douchebag. Now, there is more to this story because Netflix who produced uh, Queen Charlotte, a TV series that is a spin-off from another successful TV series called Bridgerton, which stars this racist actress, Adjoa Ando. Well, yesterday, they posted this on their Twitter page, and it says, To celebrate the release of Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, Netflix, Shondaland and Alicia Keys created a 74-piece global orchestra made up entirely of, and get this, ironically, women of colour to perform a rendition of If I Ain't Got You on the 20th anniversary of the song. Now how racist is that? Now why did Alicia Keys, Shondaland and Netflix see fit to do something like this so publicly and exclude Caucasians from it? I mean, this is insulting. It really is insulting. And there are people out there just taking this and doing and saying nothing, and not calling it out for what it is, racism. Racism does swing both ways. It is literally 24-7, 12 months of the year, open season on Caucasian people. And it continues thanks to cucks like Paddy O'Connell on BBC Radio 4. And also, I want to point out, not a word by race baiters such as Dr Shola Moss, Narinda Kaur, and Yasmin Alibi Brown about this deliberate targeting of a race of people simply because of their skin colour. And uh, oh yeah, defund the BBC while we're at it. And there we go, that's my video. Hope you like it. Please give your opinions in the comments below. And until the next time, have a great day, look after yourselves, and Roger Trout.